Step two on the joining lab. Well, our second joint anyways. We're going to hook one more piece up to that. So I grabbed one more piece out of my locker. And for this step, we're gonna use pop rivets. Okay, pop rivets are these little guys. They clamp pieces together. We need to lay out first where they're gonna go. So we're gonna start exactly the same way we did with the grooved seam. And I'm gonna scratch a quarter inch line on these two pieces with the dividers just like we did on the first step. So I'm gonna set my dividers over here, one fourth of an inch, tighten the thumb screw and double check it. Looks pretty good. Scratch that line. Scratch that line, okay? So those are gonna go this way. Uh, we need to locate on that line where we need to punch the holes for the pop rivet. So I'm going to put them from the edge a half an inch in. Set the dividers to half an inch. Move them out, tighten them up, double check. So now I'm not going this way, I'm going this way, so I'm actually going to go across my line on both of these. Ooh, that looked a little crooked. There we go. So what we're looking for is that. And where those two lines cross, that's where we're going to punch the hole. So we're going to punch four holes. Two in this piece, two in this piece, and hopefully they line up, we overlap them, we put the rivet through. Before I go over and punch the holes though, I'm going to set these pieces right next to each other. And I'm going to check these two lines with these two lines and just see if they line up. So this line should match and this line should match. If they don't, if, if this piece of metal is shorter, it's going to be a little tricky. But we can show you how to fix that, okay, if they don't. So I've got those ready. I'm going to go punch my hole using the pin punch and a ball peen hammer. We're going to head over to the stake table and show you that right now. All right, so here on my anvil, I'm going to punch some holes. But if you remember from the hand tools, we can't just set this on here and start pounding on it. It's not going to work. We need something soft. So in the cabinets down here, we should have a couple of pieces of wood. So nice and soft. I'm going to set that on there. I'm going to set my first piece up here. And we're going to take the pin punch. And I'm going to set it on my X right here. Take your time getting it lined up so it looks like it's right on the X. And we're going to start hammering on that. Probably, it definitely won't go through on the first try. It's going to take you a couple of tries, but after you get the first one, you've got that dent. And it should be a little easier just to set it back in and... Okay, there's one through. Wiggle that out. You can see I've got a hole and the chunk of metal's in there. That's fine. And if we look at it, you can see how it's kind of bumped up. That's okay. Don't flatten that back down. If we do, the rivet's not going to fit. So i got to do that three more times. Uh, also, we're holding the hammer back here. You're lining up and we're hitting it one good accurate hit. Okay, if you spend all day going tappy, 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 it's, it's not going to work. So one good hit. Until we pop it through. We can double check after the second hole. I can set it over top of my other lines. And if we did it right, we should see that little, on the bottom piece of metal, we see the little crosshairs line up on both sides. Looks like I'm doing pretty good so far. So we'll do this one. 
That one was a little off. All right, I've got my four holes punched and they look okay. I'm a little shifted, which isn't great. We, it moved just a little bit when I was punching holes, but we'll make it work. So let's head back over to our other table for a few minutes and show you the next step. So with our four holes punched, we're going to use the Clecos and the Cleco pliers to hook this together and make sure everything lines up. So you need to come bring your pieces of metal to me and say, hey, Mr. T, I need a couple of Clecos. And I will give you two Clecos. You'll need to get the pliers again out of locker number four. And we load a Cleco in the plier, squeeze it, push it through one piece, and then the other. And when we let go, it's got that clamped together. Okay? So the second Cleco, if we did everything right, we should be able to get the second Cleco in as well. If one of our holes was off and this hole doesn't line up, we need to repunch. So I would take this back over to the stake table, put the piece of wood underneath, and just punch, go through that hole and repunch so the bottom hole is going to get a second little bit out of it until we can get both Clecos in like that. Both Clecos in, you're going to bring this up to Mr. Turner and say, hey Mr. T, I need pop rivets. And I will give you two pop rivets. You're going to come back over to your table, pull one Cleco out, get your rivet gun, Again, in locker number four, put the pop rivet in, slide that in, and squeeze the handle, let it all the way up so it can go all the way back down. Squeeze the handle again until it breaks off. The blade is scrap, and that's the rivet. So pull that other one out load the other pop rivet and I should have mentioned if the pop rivet won't go in our hole seems like it's just a little too small you can go grab the pin punch um, let's just pretend for a second that this is a pin punch it's not but if we stick the pin punch in and we just kind of wobble it around like this a little bit it will open that hole up and you should be able to get the rivet through if the hole is too big and the Cleco won't clamp, so when we put the Cleco in, it just falls out. If we hammer on this just a little bit, it will mush that down and close the hole. So you can kind of play with the hole size to get it to fit just right. But when we've got it, we pop rivet that piece. There's our second joint. We did that with pop rivets. Again, the measurements were a quarter of an inch, one inch this way. Then we just got to clean up our messes, bring me the rivet, or the, sorry, the Clecos. These scraps can go in the recycle can, and we're almost ready for the next step.